Hey Thunderbirds, Mr. Eck here. Welcome back to the art room. Today we're going to be taking a trip down south. By south, I mean to South America. Well, Central and South America. We're going to be learning about the Mola art of the Kuna people. And these are natives who live in Panama, which is in Central America, south of Mexico, and Colombia, which is in North the, the northern area of South America, right here. Here's a map, if you see right here, this is the United States up here. Here's Houston. And so we're gonna go down south through Mexico, through Guatemala, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and Panama. Let's zoom in a little bit. So here's Panama, it's this little skinny area here. And this is Colombia. So uh, the Kuna people live in Panama and in, in uh, Western Colombia, which is this area over here. So this is the area of the world where this artwork is from. As I understand it, the Kuna people started doing these decorative designs uh, to liven up their clothes. And it's kind of become a, a famous art style uh, around the world. Um, I actually got to go to Colombia two years ago and I had a chance to buy a real Mola for $20 and I, and I passed on it because I wanted to buy something else that day and I thought, oh, I'll, I'll see another one before we leave and I didn't. I so wish I had it because I'd hold it up and show you a real Mola. But anyway, we have pictures on, on the internet so that's almost as good. So. Um, Check out these pictures of some molas, and then I'm going to show you how you can make your own mola. Here's one example of a mola I found that I thought was just really beautiful. In the center we see the shape of a sea turtle, and then there are other shirp, sh shirps, <laughs> there are other shapes um, around it, like right here you see like a crab, and up here it's a lobster and a fish and I'm not sure what this is, maybe some kind of a seahorse. Um, we're gonna do simpler shapes than that, but we're gonna have an animal shape in the middle and then we'll do shapes around it. And then you see how like the edge of the turtle shape is blue and then inside that is a dark red and then inside that is orange and then inside of that is some shapes. It's just lots of outlines and colorful shapes. So that's what we're looking for. And here's an example I found of uh, two of the ladies who make this kind of artwork, this Mola artwork, holding up their art. And usually it's stitched with colorful threads. It's kind of like sewn into the shirt or the dress that they're uh, adding the Mola art to. And it's very beautiful and very striking and I like it a whole lot. So to make your own Mola, you start off by drawing a simple shape of some kind of an animal. The example I showed you was of a turtle. Um, a fish is a pretty simple shape. Pick something kind of easy. Um, I think I'll just do an example of a fish. I think that's a good idea. So, fish looks kind of like this. The tail. You can give him an eye. Maybe some fins. All right, then you're going to surround him by some kind of shapes. I'm going to do some kind of fancy corner shapes. Since he's a fish, you could do bubbles. You don't have to do a fish. I was just trying to do an example of something that would be relatively easy. I don't want you to do something so hard that you get frustrated. Um, maybe I'll surround him by circles to represent bubbles. That'll work. Uh, then I'm going to um, surround him and all these shapes with different uh, lines of color using markers. And then I'm going to decorate inside the fish. I'm going to do this fast to save some time.
So this is my finished mola art. I think it's very beautiful. I'm very proud of it. Hope you have fun making your mola art. Uh, just a reminder, start with a big, in the middle of your paper, shape of an animal that's simple to draw. It needs to be nice and basic and uh, simple shapes and then put some shapes around your animal and then you outline it in a color and you just keep outlining, keep outlining and sh changing out the colors and, and uh, then you add some shapes inside your animal and before you know it, you'll have a finished mola. Be sure you use a smaller than full sheet of paper. Like this is a note card and it took me about 15 minutes to make it. So um, a half sheet or even a quarter sheet of paper would be fine. Uh, I just want you to have the experience of making your own amazing Central American art, your own MOLA art. So have fun.